Making viral documentaries like Magnates Media is not an easy thing to do, but I'll show you guys step by step how to use Hiluo AI to create entire documentaries with amazing voiceovers, motion graphics, and even consistent characters just like the one that I just made. In a secret vault buried deep beneath Geneva, Switzerland, there's a ritual that happens every single week. A ritual so wasteful, so calculated, it would make your jaw drop. Thousands of flawless Rolex watches, worth millions, are smashed, melted, and erased from existence. Why? Because Rolex isn't selling you a watch. They're selling you a lie. To understand this madness, we need to rewind to 1905. London. A 24-year-old German immigrant named Hans Wilsdorf is obsessed with one idea, creating the world's first precision wristwatch. Back then, wristwatches were flimsy, unreliable trinkets. Pocket watches ruled. But Hans had a vision. He wanted a watch so precise, so durable, it could survive war zones, ocean depths, and even Mount Everest. And in 1926, he did it. The Rolex Oyster, the first waterproof watch. But here's the twist. Hans didn't just sell watches, he sold stories. Rolex wasn't on the wrist of Everest climbers and James Bond by accident. It was all part of a master plan to turn steel and gears into a symbol of power. But by the 1980s, Rolex faced a crisis. Their watches were too good, too lasting. A single Rolex could outlive its owner, and that was a problem. If everyone who wanted a Rolex already had one, how could they keep growing? The answer? Artificial scarcity. Every year, Rolex produces one million watches. All right, guys, so in order to make these type of documentaries with consistent characters and motion graphics, animations, we're going to need a script. I'm just going to ask DeepSeek to give me 10 different ideas for documentaries in the style of Magnates Media. Now that I have 10 different ideas for documentaries, pick one that stands out, which is this one, Rolex's Dark Truth, why they destroy 90% of their watches. So I'll go ahead and copy that title. Then I'm just going to ask DeepSeek to write the script for this documentary. Copy that, and I'll just paste it into a text document. That way I can reference this script whenever I need to while I'm creating the videos in the Minimax text to video generator. So I have my script here, now it's time to move on to the next step, and I'll be able to create a free voiceover for the narration part of this documentary using Minimax's text-to-speech tool, which is even better than Eleven Labs because it's free. This is Minimax Audio, and this is their text-to-speech version of their tool. Now all you have to do is bring up your script and make sure that you find all the parts that say narrator or voiceover, and you're just going to select those parts, copy them, and then bring them over here and go ahead and paste them onto Minimax Audio. And by the way, every day that you sign into this tool, you get 4,000 free credits. So you'll be able to create free voiceovers every single day for new videos and you don't have to pay anything. So let's click on where it says trustworthy man. And this is where you'll be able to see all of the different voices. Now for the voices I'm gonna choose, I'm just gonna come up here to where it says accent and I'll choose British. Just because some of these documentaries, they sound like they have more authority when they have a British voiceover for some reason. You know, so I'll just find a good one right here. Why Scholar? Knowledge is a journey, not a destination. That's a really good one. So I'll go ahead and use that. And as you can see, these voices are extremely realistic. So let's generate that. And you'll see how quickly we can get a human-like voiceover. In a secret vault buried deep beneath Geneva, Switzerland, there's a ritual that happens every single week. Just like that, we have our voiceover, and I'll just keep on creating this voiceover until I'm finished with the documentary. And now that we have that, we can move on to the best part, which is creating all of these visuals with Minimax. Okay, so Minimax has a new feature. They have a consistent character feature. They also have a director feature. If you come over to image to video, and choose this director mode and you can be able to control all of the camera movements so you can decide how you want your shot click on this camera right here you can see that they have all of these different presets so if you click on cinematic shots you can preview how it's going to look so all you'll have to do is upload an image 
So in the beginning of my documentary, I would just come over here to where it says the first line. To understand this madness, we need to rewind to 1905 London. Now all you have to do is place a prompt right here. So I can place that prompt from my script and then I can come over here. You'll see all of these different presets so we can choose any type of shot that we want. This allows us to become a real deal director of a documentary or of a film because we can control all of the camera movements. So I'm gonna click on downward tilt because this seems to be like a really cool opening shot. So pedestal down, tilt up is what it'll put into your script. And then you're just gonna go ahead and click on generate right here where it says 30 credits. And over here on the right hand side, you'll see that Hailuo is creating this scene right now. Now, as you can see, it's finished generating this video. So if I click on play, you'll see one of these opening scenes for the documentary. And if you notice the camera pans down and it tilts up just exactly as how I instructed it to by clicking on that director mode and choosing that type of camera movement, it's adhered to that perfectly. So this is how you can create documentaries step by step. Now what I want to show you is a really cool feature. This is, this is a way to create consistent characters throughout your documentary. So since I like this shot so much, and this character just really fits this documentary, I'm going to take a screenshot of this guy right here. Come up here to the top where it says subject to reference, and you add a reference character. As you can see, I uploaded his image right here. Now, when you want to create a video with him, you'll just go ahead and click on your character, click on confirm. And now all you have to do is type in a prompt. And no matter what your prompt is, it's going to use your character and it's going to place them in that scene. So now that I have my reference character, I'm going to go ahead and bring up my script and I'm just going to move on to the next scene. I'll just come over here and I'll paste in a prompt. I'm going to keep the setting the same where it's London 1905. So that way it's still the same time period. And I'm just going to prompt this to have him hastily rush into his wristwatch workshop. Then I can insert a tracking shot right here. Minimax will know that it's th that it wants the camera to follow his character as he's moving. Okay. And now it has placed our character into this scene. As you can see the image over here on the right hand side, this is our character reference. Now, if you see, this video you'll see how amazing minimax is at placing your characters and at keeping them consistent in the scene so we'll go ahead and play this and you can see that it's the exact same guy as in this image and all i had to do was upload one image and now i can keep that character consistent throughout the documentary which is really cool so now i want to show you guys how to create some motion graphics or some animations using minimax ai just like this little animation that I created right here. Back then, wristwatches were flimsy, unreliable trinkets. Pocket. Come over here to text a video. And I'm going to put in a new prompt right here. I'm just going to say an orange grid background with a flimsy retro vintage wristwatch sliding in from the left of the screen. I'll click on play. And you can see the wristwatch is coming in over top of the, gr the orange grid background exactly like we prompted. So it just goes to show all the different types of things that you can create with Minimax. And now I want to show you one more thing. I want to show you like an animated cartoon style that you can make with Minimax. And I'll put in a new prompt where I'm just going to say a Rolex wristwatch sticking out of the snow on top of Mount Everest with a white flag with a green Rolex logo waving in the background. Under the cinematic shots preset, I chose freedom and we'll have a new animated shot to put in our documentary as you can see minimax has adhered to the prompt exactly like what i told it to do. let me show you one more feature which is called the image to video feature and this is how i was able to create different animations like cartoon animations that i wanted to put into the video as well so i'll click on upload and then i'll bring in this picture of this cartoon version of a soldier in the trenches I'll just put in this prompt that's going to say there's explosions going off in the background and he's running. And now as you can see, it has brought that cartoon character to life just off of one image. It has totally animated the character. It's making him blink. He's talking. There's explosions in the background and you can see him get up and walk away. All right. So that's just how easy it is to bring images to life and turn images into fully animated cartoons 
you want to use it for b-roll for your documentary or if you just want to make cartoon animations with this tool you could literally do anything with minimax so that's basically it and then you're going to take all your clips and you're going to bring them over to CapCut. we're just going to go ahead and build out that documentary scene by scene and we're also going to go ahead and get some background music so the best place to get background music for your videos as far as i'm concerned because it's free is over here on the creator music tab on your youtube studio app come up here to where it says view free tracks type in up here like something dramatic try and find you some epic music for your documentary like that will be perfect it's fast it's high paced and it's dramatic and it's going to create a very strong entrance for your documentary and we have our voiceover and everything added in so now when we go ahead and play the documentary you'll see secret vault buried deep beneath geneva switzerland there's a ritual that happens every single week a ritual so wasteful so calculated it would make your jaw drop thousands of flawless rolex watches worth millions are smashed melted and erased from existence why? Because Rolex isn't selling you a watch. They're selling you a lie. I hope you guys go check out Minimax AI and also their text-to-speech generator as well because it's just as good, if not better, than Eleven Labs. And I'll leave the link in the description for Minimax so you guys can try these out. You can try it out for free every day. I believe you get like four or five videos for free every single day. And also the text-to-voice generator is 4,000 credits per day for free. So make sure you guys go check them out. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.